Kristen Stewart and French director Olivier Assayas have forged an unlikely but formidable bond that has resulted in two highly acclaimed movies, both made in Europe far outside of Hollywood jurisdiction. They're an odd pair, she, a rebel A-lister from Los Angeles who has become one of the movie's most exciting and uncompromising actors, he, a demure Parisian whose layered, cerebral films teeter between reality and fiction. What makes them click? They chuckle. I'm not sure, says Isaias. Stewart nods. That's the main question, she says. I don't know. We like each other. Their latest film, Personal Shopper, is full of mysteries, too. It's a ghost story, set in a contemporary world of texting and googling. In the film, which opened Friday in the US and will be released Mar. 24 in Canada, Stewart plays a twin whose brother has just died. Her day job is shopping in Paris for a stuck-up celebrity, but she's also a medium, and a series of strange encounters make her believe a spirit, her brother, is contacting her. Personal Shopper follows their previous clouds of Sils Maria. Also a singularly enigmatic movie in which Stewart played support staff, Anna, assistant to Juliet Genosis theater actress, to a more famous character. The part earned Stewart a Caesar the first American to win the French award. It was inconceivable, actually, Stewart says. At the time, I regarded him as like a reality show star. I was like, who is this guy, to be honest? There are so many significant and very affecting things that he has said and says all the time, continues Stewart. This was just a stranger. Fascinating one because it's so piddly in terms of what matters. She also, in a rebuke to Trump and an inspiration to others, announced, and I'm like so gay. Dude, I've really allowed myself to, really freely and with no regard to the effect of others, live my life, says Stewart. There was just a time where I realized that the things you do and say when you have so many people looking at you, they do affect others. So I'm really proud of it. But at the same time, I hate that it's such a big deal.